Hi, this is Simon Obstel, and welcome to another tutorial for Blackmagic Fusion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this graphic which plots the relative orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So it's a nice effect and it's not very complicated to do, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new background. I want the size of it to be square, so I'm going to go with 1080 by 1080. And I'm going to leave it black with solid alpha for the time being. And then I'm going to take my Mars image and I'm going to merge it over the top of the background like so. I want to scale this down obviously a lot, so I'm going to go for 0 0.05 for the scale. Now the, the key to this is that I'm going to add an expression to the center of the merge. So right click, modify with expression. And let's come over to the modifiers tab and let's come to the point out tab. So for the point expression X, I'm going to enter 0.5 plus sign open brackets, time divided by N2, close brackets, times N1. And I'm going to take that expression, copy it and paste it into the Y field. And I'm just going to swap out sign for cos. So just to explain this expression, 0.5 in each case puts the merge in the center. Zero would put it down here, of course. Sign time and cos time, as you probably know, just creates a circular rotation. N2 is going to control the speed of that circular rotation. And N1 is going to control the size of the orbit. So let's just set up those values. So as I say, N1 controls the orbit size. I'm going to set that to 0.1. And I'm also going to set the orbit speed to 0.1. So now if we look at what happens, Mars orbits around the center, which is the, the sun. I'm just going to set the play range to 750, so we'll get the full effect of this. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the merge and paste it. And then I'm going to take my Jupiter image and add it to that second merge. So let's have a look at that. So Jupiter is now sitting right on top of Mars. I'm just going to increase Jupiter's scale just a little bit. So I think we're going to go for something like 0.12. And then I need to adjust these number values. So the orbit size is obviously larger. That's N1. So I'm going to go for 0.4 there. Zoom out a bit so we can see this. And the speed I'm going to set to 0.63 because that's the correct ratio of the two different orbit periods of these two planets. So now if we play, you can see we've got this slowly rotating Jupiter around this much faster rotating Mars. So the next step is that I'm going to copy this background. So Command C, Command V. I'm just going to set up its color. I'm going to have 0.1 for the red, 0.1 for the green, 0.12 for the blue, and 0.1 for the alpha. And then I'm going to have a look at that over here. Just going to swap to the single viewer mode. So we've got this very slightly blue transparent background. And then I'm going to take the polyline tool and I'm going to click here and click here. It really doesn't matter. And then press enter to close it up. Then I'm going to draw over those points and then I'm going to select from the polyline menu, publish points. And you'll see what that does is it pops the two points over here uh, where I can start manipulating them. So what I'm going to do very simply is connect point zero, connect to expression on merge one center. So that's Mars and point one. I'm going to connect to expression on merge one one center, the Jupiter orbit. 
So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge this result over my original background in here before the two planets. And then let's look at the result over here. Now we can't see anything just yet, and that is because I need to increase the border width. And I'm going to go 4.01. That's the border width on the polyline, of course. And now if we press play, you can see that the line connecting the two planets is moving with the two planets. So then this, it's a simple matter of adding to this background to which we've added the polyline. So this background here, I'm going to add trails. And so now if we look at the result, come to the first frame, press play, we've got our animation and the trails is filling in all those intermediate frames. So then I've grabbed a starfield background and I'm going to merge the final merge over the top of that. So what we need to do is to come to our original black background and set its alpha to zero. And what I also need to do is to come to this merge here where I'm merging the trails over the top of the original background and set that to subtractive. Each time we want to view this, we, uh, we come to the start, what we need to do is select the trails and click on the restart button. So now we're getting this effect. So in the middle of this, obviously, I'd like to add the sun around which they're orbiting. First of all, I want to take this merge here, the one with the trails coming into it, and I want to add a circular mask to this. I want to invert it. I want to set its size to 0.2 width and height. And then I want to increase its soft edge to 0.1. So that just softens off the middle there. And then I'm going to add a fast noise. I'm going to set its size to 75 by 75. I'm going to come over to the noise, crank the detail up to 10. The scale, let's go for 9. And let's have a seethe rate of 0.2. See what that looks like. And I'm also going to add a circular mask to it and set the width and height to 1. Let's come back to the fast noise and just adjust the colour. We need 100% alpha there in that colour 1. And let's just make this a little bit red, not very much. And then let's take all the blue out of colour 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this over the top of the final output there. So there's our sun. I'm going to turn down the alpha gain like that. And I'm also going to add to the fast noise a glow. And I think those defaults are not too bad for the glow. And so now we've got the sun in the middle there. It's got that little bit of animation to it. So that's basically it. But what we could do is instead of using Mars and Jupiter, let's actually add the Earth instead. And so I'm going to put the Earth into the merge where Mars was, like that. I'm going to just adjust its scale to 0 0.02. Jupiter we don't need anymore. I'm going to put Mars into Jupiter. And then we just need to adjust the Mars orbit. So our Jupiter orbit was 0.63 because it was going around much slower than Mars. In this case, the ratio is much lower and the number we're going to go with is 0.19. Let's come back to the beginning. And we need to restart the trails. And now we're getting a completely different pattern, which has a charm all of its own, perhaps even greater, I think, because this takes a long time for us to start to understand what it's going to look like. Uh, gradually building up that centre. So, I mean, the obvious point is that any different numbers are going to produce any number of different patterns. You know, there's, there's limits, limitless fun you could have with this. Now, just before we go, I think there's one more thing we could do to improve the design. So I'm going to take this background here, the one we're using for the lines, Command C, Command V down here, and I'm going to merge it into the background just here after the trails there. 
And then I'm going to add a circular mask to this merge. I'm going to set the width and height to 0.8. And then I'm going to turn off solid. And I'm just going to have a very slight border like that. And if we want these, uh, the, the main lines to be a little bit stronger, we could come back to this merge, to this one here where the trails are being merged over the original background. I suggested you go with um, subtractive here, but actually if you, you know, increase that value, go back towards additive, uh, you can get them to be much stronger. Probably wouldn't go all the way, something like that. And then if we come back to the beginning, let's uh, restart and then just have a look how it's all looking. That's quite a nice balance of the of the different elements. And the that outer circle just helps to give you a sense of what you're you, you're going to expect in terms of the orbit. So anyway, I hope that's been interesting and thanks very much for, indeed for watching.